it's so hard to leave your phone alone, even for a short amount of time. It was very uncomfortable. As anyone who runs a business or has a high stress job knows, like you're on 24 seven. The first kind of eight hours was a little bit weird. And then after that was the best thing I've done for my headspace in years. If you are a CEO or a founder of a company or, you know, something like that, you're probably at the moment switched on all the time. Talking male CEOs here for the fun of it. Um, what were their kind of common issues or challenges or problems that they had? Their businesses are going through a period of growth which is amazing. But a lot of the time, these guys are fantastic at what they do, but they've never really run a business before. So they're thrown into un uncharted water because now they have to lead and manage a team. They have to keep stakeholders happy. They have to overlook day-to-day -day operations. So it's a huge amount to stack on top. Mm -hmm. So understandably, they're in a situation where they're stretched thin and overwhelmed by everything that needs to get done. So a lot of the time, they then start second-guessing themselves. They overthink. They procrastinate. They avoid the things they know they need to do, like having to feel conversations. Yeah. And inevitably, they become the bottleneck in the business. So we then have to optimize their energy, their sleep, and their work life balance because if they're exhausted or having problems in the relationship mm. they're not going to show up properly in their job career so it's really about looking at code. how are you thinking and feeling in every area of your life so that you can then actually get to the next level